All right. Shit, oh, I love my liking. Good morning, everyone. It's another day. So why are we in the shed this morning? Taking a look at the Hurley situation. Sadly, uh, I broke Hurley yesterday. This is like the worst. I'm in the worst Hurley situation like I think I've ever been in. It's just, just can't find the right Hurley. So this is the one that's broke. See, it's cracked straight down the middle. It's a Burke Hurley. Burke Hurley is weird because I only started you. I only used this literally for the past week. I broke my other Hurley before that. So like I'm in a, a bad way at the moment. All my Hurleys are breaking. So this one's basically, I wouldn't say it's done for. Like I might actually ring my friend and ask him. He's a, he fixes Harley. So then we're gonna take a look at this second Harley. This is the biggest piece of shit I've ever had in my life. I had it just to have it basically, just to have a spare Harley, and it's just so bad. It's so light, and you can't get a proper connection with the ball. And then the last one here is just this as well. This is a better Harley. It could work. But I, I don't know, I, do I want it to work is, is the question like, you know, again, the same kind of make and like, it's just, it's heavy, it's really heavy. I like the Harleys when they're in between. I'm thinking I'd look around, like we have, my family does the club Harleys, so we do like, people are looking for Harleys, they can to us, we give them the Harleys from this maker. We used to be with a really good Harling company, but they just said we couldn't do it anymore because they were too expensive. So I think what I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna actually ring up that Harling company and ask for like three Harleys off them. Obviously a bad craftsman blames his tools, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm blaming my tools, I don't think they're good enough. So hopefully he has a website where I can just order all these Harleys and they'll just deliver to me. I probably could go down it, it, it's a bit of a fucking trek though so hopefully not even this Harley wasn't even that good to be a complete ostrich like it's just something I just picked out of the shade really a 10 mile run to do today and it just started raining and can you imagine that these are the Harleys I always like you can never go wrong with it really it looks like that you can shop online which is fucking brilliant so I don't have to go down obviously Harleys need to be very specific like a lot of people aren't going to like a certain Harley you have to, you have to go down and test it out for yourself GC is a massive thing for Harley yeah, this is exactly what I, I'm talking about now so yes they have the size which my size would be 32 and the weight like me oh that's that's literally exactly what i was thinking i was like oh is it gonna go like medium i was wondering does it come gripped or anything like that all right cool just order two harleys off Fitzgerald. temporary style harley with it being gripped thank god because i'm shy at gripping harleys i don't know how long that's gonna take honestly it's a sunday so it could take another week i'd say i'm gonna have to sort out a harley thing i just don't like my harleys i have because i think a lot of people like understand what i'm coming from when like you're playing harley and you've had this harley for a long time and it's, it just suits you down to the ground and it just breaks all of a sudden and then your second harley is just you'd have to like get used to those harleys again you know what i mean that's kind of what we have to deal with is that okay i'm not gonna go too heavy on the layering for this run. I think last time I did, I wore a jumper and a jacket and I was just sweating. Gold mile, it's a Christmas thing. We do it every year for Christmas. It's just one mile around the park, like, and when I was in college, I remember doing the mile and I was nearly collapsing doing the mile, like, absolutely. Like, I, I was just, oh my God, I'm so unfit. It honestly looked like there was absolutely no hope for me because when I was running, I could, like, feel my weight bouncing up and down. I was like, oh my God. That's when, like, I started, I was like, I have to change. Like, this is so bad. I'm trying this lovely night top as well. Need more running gear, actually. It's, it's mad. I, I always think I have a enough but I don't think I do. I'm struggling to pick up shit now today. Here we go now, looking good. We have a long run ahead of us so it should be interesting. I think the one thing about these runs that's so important is that you have to do it slow and I think a lot of runners can resonate with me when I say sometimes it's actually harder to go slow than it is to go fast. Like when you are at a certain level of running and you know it yourself, it is hard to slow down. It sounds like people out on the outside are going to be like, what is wrong with you? That's why I'm bringing the watch today. It's 10 miles. I had a match yesterday. I don't want to be killing myself so I'm going to try and keep it probably in between 8 and 8.30 maybe. Should take around an hour and 20, an hour and 25. Mile 1, 8.02. Mile 2, 7.54. Mile 3, 7.53. Mile 4, 7.40. Fifth mile, 7.39. Mile 6, 7.46. Mile 7, 7.39. Mile 8, 7.43. Mile 9, 7.51. End and final mile. 7.46. A lovely 10 mile run done there. I am absolutely flat right now. It was tough, you know, going around Granada. I've described the hill situation before going around Granada with those hills. It's oh, so difficult, but I tell you, it's what you need, like, for especially for a long distance running. Those kind of hills is what you need, obviously, to build strength in the legs. You know, it's good for cross country as well. I think the junior Bs are playing today against Blarney, so I want to go and uh, watch them and support them. Hopefully, if they get a win, I mean, then the whole adult senior team has had a 100% record so far. <laughs> Got these, um, I think it's called ritual things for Christmas. I never tried it out, but like Emma has it too, and her hair smells so nice. So I'm gonna give it an all that. Have to keep the, the long hair looking good. Like, look at that. Like, see this now? This smells unbelievable already, right? So I have absolutely no idea what to use. Strengthening caffeine shampoo, cooling shower gel, anti dryness body lotion. <laughs> I just wanna, like, 
clean myself, Jesus Christ. I can confirm that the ritual thing does smell very nice. Although it did kind of burn my scalp a tiny bit. Like, to be fair though, I, don't, I didn't really know which one to use or like how to use it. Like, should I be putting the shower gel one in my hair and all that crap? Right, so we had a disaster there. Who's this now? Oh, fuck off. I'm gone. Sorry about that. Anyway, what I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by someone trying to get into my house. I wanted to make an egg sandwich, but there was no mayonnaise in the house, so I had to go up to the shop to get mayonnaise. Needs mayonnaise. It's disgusting. It's shit without mayonnaise. We got the mayonnaise anyway. We're happy. A bit embarrassing just going up and buying mayonnaise. I don't know how, what this is, but like I was walking up to the mayonnaise. I was like, no, no, no. I have to buy something else. Can't just buy mayonnaise. That's so embarrassing. I was going to buy like the fucking newspaper or something like that. I haven't read the new. I don't think I've ever read a newspaper. Let's go home and make this egg. Just got the ticket. TikTok done. We will have to go to the shop after the match. Probably gonna be late enough, probably about five or six. We're gonna have to go to the shop, get shit for dinner. Cause uh, my family are having like ramen for Mother's Day, but I haven't been eating well recently. So I'm just trying to calm it down, just get a bit of pasta and chicken. We'll be flying then. Dirty enough day, I'm not gonna lie. This is the team now I used to, I played with last year. I gave up the GA for a year. I technically did, but I still did the Junior B, but it was only like two or three times a year. Not not even like, I think it was like four or five matches. We got really far into it, into the competition. Like, and it was like a record for us cause we'd never won a junior b game before like we never took it that serious but like i think the junior b is a huge thing and i'm glad that our club and every club is finally kind of like yeah you know it's important that second team and the players get a chance you know that kind of way we're gonna go down now we're gonna take a peek of just hopefully there's a few boys down there that's it jay Good win for the junior bees there. I think I got a few clips, they're probably rubbish, but they won at the very end basically. They they were hanging on for dear life, but uh, it all worked out. They won by two points, I think. I don't know how long this will last, but I'm going to enjoy it for, for now. We've kept a 100% record at the moment. We've won all three of our matches so far. Glenn, how are you? That is Glenn, I don't think you've seen him yet. He's a bit shy, he doesn't really like to come up to the car, so he backs away. He's a fucking collie, this man now. He will herd his entire life. Whatever way he's been, we got all three of our dogs on, like, our, they're our rescue dogs. Like, Glenn was probably the most traumatized out of all of them. He came to us with two broken paws, I think. He was ran over by a tractor and had to spend a lot of time in his cage just to, so his paws can recoup. Yeah, uh, unreal, he's, so, he's a great dog, not to be fair to him. His brain is wired just to herd all day long, so all he does is herd my two dogs. Just Starting to snap out of it now a bit. Glenn. No, he's not doing it now, but no, he's off. Everything's cooking very well. You just have to put a bit of small paprika on the chicken. And that's the end of the day. Thank God, no running tomorrow, no training tomorrow. It's an off day, get to relax. But I'm gonna do a full on recovery day. Thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Please like and subscribe. See you later, have a good day and goodbye.